vibrant rivers that flow thousands of kilometers to the mouth of the Black Sea create unique landscapes with rich flora and diverse fauna. The Danube and Dnipro deltas are true ornithic heavens where millions of birds fly to. It is a rare isle of wild nature preserved in the center of civilized Europe. Here humans and nature coexist while nature prevails. It's the northern Black Sea coastal area. The Ukrainian Black Sea coastal area from the perspective of a flight reminds one of a web interlaced with many isles. Reed sloughs and sandbars that enclose water surfaces, a former river branch filled with ocean water, so-called coastal salt lakes, are complete in between the Danube and Dniester rivers. Fish come here from the sea depths from spawning every summer to improve in strength so that hatchlings would be able to return. In this way, the sea enriches its inhabitants and at the same time is enriched by river water resources. A large stream of a fresh water current enters the sea. The Danube ends its flow here after running over nearly 3,000 kilometers through Europe. It flows into the Black Sea through several tributaries of a large plain delta. One can only appreciate the untouched shores at the point where the Danube enters the sea. They are distinctive for their rich and versatile flora. This area hosts about thousands of prime vascular plant types. Even reed has about four different families here. White lily on the glass surface of water surrounded by leaves in the form of a plate remind one of an endless aquatic garden. For about a thousand years, hundreds of fish types have existed here among thousands of flora and fauna inhabitants. The Danube is the only river that could preserve the natural spawning of sturgeons. The fish that fishers caught in their nets are of a purely natural breed. Sturgeon is rare breed that is sensitive to water structure and is destined for extinction. But it is living and spawning in the Danube. The delta serves as a living filter as it plays a significant role in the cleansing of the large river. About 10,000 tons of contaminated substances settle in the Danube from all of Europe. Large reed thickets play a role of a natural biological filter of the delta. To be more specific, the water clears when undergoing the root stocking of reed. One proof of this hypothesis is the mass assembly of day flies, which are insects that live specifically in a clean environment, in particular on young summer days when the temperature, humidity and atmospheric pressure coincide with day fly standards, their larvae rise up from a pulp of the river bottom. Leaving the envelope, they are like butterflies, fluttering over the water. However, the life of a day fly is quite short, naturally it goes through the whole life cycle in a day. Not a single day fly will survive after the sunset. Such large lands preserve the natural and original environment here in the middle of heavily populated Europe, 
At the, the overall space of the delta consists of 540,000 hectares. It is a vast territory of 150 to 200 former Soviet collective farms. It is a whole water swamp state, where locals associate themselves as people from the water, while others are people from the land. The Danube Delta is one of the richest water swamp lands in Europe. Nature enriched the shores with the overflow of overgrown land areas, when the waterways were divided into several tributaries. Nevertheless, one can only get there by water. In the Ukrainian part of the delta, all roads end in Vilkova. One can only continue the journey to the delta by water transport. Vilkovo is a city spread on 70 islands. This Ukrainian Venice is pierced with dozens of kilometers of water channels, from narrow to wide ones. The youngest and driest land is 400 years old, and it is still undergoing changes. Even while mastering hectares of muddy terrain, people are always surrounded by water. Yet people adapted to unusual conditions of living, People build their houses in Vilkova from reed and ooze. They travel by boats and they walk on narrow wooden sidewalks. Flower beds on the water are also unique. We will walk on a street along the Danube to the Yermakov Isle. Several decades ago, the Yermakov Isle was forgotten and stranded. Surrounded and blocked by a dike, the isle did not reach delta waters. People used this piece of dry land for their necessities, where they started to grow reed. For most, they did so for reviving the isle to its natural state. They renewed water streams and brought mammals to the isle. The herds of half-wild horses and cows in water swamplands of the Yermakov Isle are today reducing tree density and grass coverage of the land. There was a time when domesticated animals became more precautious and recollected their natural instincts of wild animals after being left in such conditions. Buck look after their herds and when they sense danger, they may be aggressive, especially in the period of estrus. They live and breed here in natural conditions. Moreover, they don't bring milk to people but use it to feed their offspring. Sedge, bushes of tamarisks, olives and sea buckthorn provide a versatile ratio for local inhabitants, while reed thickets and reed maize are perfect homes for birds. Pelicans hunt in flocks. In such a way, they easily catch fish and close in shoal. Specifically, birds form a flock in order to better coordinate their tactics. Pelicans may move to shores of coastal salt lakes if they see no food in the delta. Rising above the water shore is an uneasy task for large birds. However, caught by a thermal stream, they make a few wing strokes and fly without effort. They overcome long distances to find the appropriate spot for a successful catch. Usually, those are sandbanks and coastal salt lake shores. The bird El Dorado is not a surprising phenomenon, when dozens or even hundreds of birds herd in these areas. The bird noises are never ending near the village of Primorske.
до речі, вони взагалі сидять. Бачите, скільки видів? От, скупчення таке гарне. You can see the birds sitting there in different families all at the same time. It is a good huddling behavior. You may count at least 10 species. A part of them are feeding, while the others are resting. You should come closer to get a better view of them. Maxim Yakovlev examines the behavior of birds simultaneously at two very close environmentally oriented territories. The two Zlovsky lagoons and the Danube biosphere are neighboring bird reserves. The locations where they coexist are coastal salt lakes, Shahani and the freshwater Sasik, where there is a rich variety of fish and other animals. Birds know about this distinctive feature of the lakes and often feed here. There are colonies of birds where you can listen to how they communicate. Pelicans start to move and then settle once again. It is natural. Just a bit more and we will reach our destination. Pelicans can rest and hunt here. They are preparing for long migration during the winter to southern regions, so here they try to gain weight. This place has a unique migration corridor. Several millions of birds fly over here every year. Birds migrate from the southern parts of Africa and stop on their way to Asia and Europe. Notably, the environment is quite hostile for bird survival. They have to adapt and trust people for weaving a nest or staying during their migration close to inhabited villages. Around 15 species of birds stay at a small lake in the village of Strumok. The birds know very well that they can find clean spring water and food here. You may notice sandpipers and bluebirds, and near them are wild domesticated goose and ducks. Therefore, the bird groups are actually friendly neighbors with the local village people. The gait, as if on stilts, is what distinguishes these birds. Stilts are small birds that come to coastal salt lakes for weaving nests. Usually, they settle near the water and often cooperate within small colonies of nearly a dozen pairs. They feel secure in the collective. With their long legs, they are able to walk far from the shores in search of food. The natural habitat of the Black Sea region is generous in terms of its vivid colors. Different bird plumage, spots on reptile skin, vivid butterflies and dragonflies' wings are supplemented with a rich color scheme of flora. The coastal salt lake shores turn into bright red isles of glasswort. Yet only flora that tolerates salt can survive these areas enriched with salt. On the other hand, reed has the biological capacity to adapt both to salt and soft water and sudden changes in the environment. The major difference of reed in various conditions is that in soft water it reaches 7 meters and the width of a finger, while in a salt environment it is smaller. These layers of limestone that are almost 20 million years old hang at a steep incline of the Dnipro River. 
another large river that supplements the Black Sea with its waters. The Dnipro, much more like Danube, divides into various tributaries and ends up in a delta after flowing through the territories of three modern countries and 2,000 kilometers. Fifty-meter precipices of forest under the foot of the Dnipro Buch coastal salt lakes symbolically open up the sea's embrace to the Dnipro waters. The so-called Hersen Mountains have a two-million-year history of glacier movement. The particles of dust left behind from the melted glaciers and frosty demolition of mountain terrain compose low-acial aggradations. They safely cemented roots of ephedra, creeping cypress and crested weed grass and appear as silver and shagged cloths. These rare plants support a mighty precipice from destruction, preserving the unique landscape of the Dnipro River and the lower course of the Ukrainian Black Sea coastal area.